What's up, friends and my fellow card collectors? Card Hobbies here, and it's time for the Card Hobbies Weekly, Episode 2. Um, did my pilot last week. Um, got a pretty good reception on it, so we're going to continue on with the weekly series. Uh, this is going to be a long video, so if you're going to watch it in one sitting, better grab yourself a drink, get comfortable. Um, but you don't have to watch it all in one sitting. Once again, I'll put the timestamps in the description below as well as hopefully they'll show up on the time bar so you can skip to whatever uh, segment you wish to watch um yeah and definitely leave a comment below because this week we're going to be doing the we have a mail day we have a quick hitter we have a fairfield pharmacy box and we're also doing the giveaway stash for the month of august so definitely going to be a longer video uh, it's going to take a lot of editing, a lot of uh, upload time. <laughs> it might take a few hours, maybe an old day to upload this thing to YouTube. Um, but yeah, since I'm only doing, uh, you know, if I do it weekly, I'm going to be doing, what, about four videos a, a month, maybe five videos if you get five Wednesdays in a month. Um, so yeah, definitely leave comments below if you want to get in on the September giveaway stash for this month. Uh, but let me quit rambling before we even get started. Uh, don't want to spend too much time rambling. Uh, so let's go ahead and, uh, roll that intro and, and drop the beat in three, two, one. All right, starting off with, uh, the first little segment here actually the first actual segment is going to be a mail day um but i've kind of broken up the giveaway into three different parts going to show up at three different points in this video uh the first little part is going to be showing off what you're going to get in the giveaway stash uh for the month of august if you win um so we're just going to send it over the desk we're going to show off uh the prizes of course you know they're going to be the card obvious repacks uh yeah let's just uh let's just take it straight over to the desk for that okay so we're here at the desk uh we're gonna go ahead and show off what the prizes are gonna be for the giveaway stash for august uh we already have something in the giveaway stash um looks like we got a card and a repack this repack was donated by mr joe mansman in the last bbgb break um it is a repack uh we don't know what's in this one so it's kyle hendricks on the front of that one uh, also, one of these, uh, this auto I pulled out of a Fairfield box, Tetrad Auto of Roger Sakel, that's going to be in there. And we're going to pull some uh, random packs from the repack box. So let's go ahead and pull up a window capture real quick. Um, I already have this set up to generate four random integers between 1 and 25. Alright, so we're going to get numbers here. 11, 18, 3, and 18. So two 18, so we'll get 18 and 19. So let's go ahead and hide that. Hide that. 3, 11, 18, 19. See if I can remember that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, and nineteen. All right. So we're going to grab four more packs out of my. Reserve stash over here. One, two, three, four. Four packs. I'm just going to toss them in the middle here. We'll uh, mix those up before the next uh, Cardboard Happy Hour or BBGB. So here's the four packs that I'm throwing in for the giveaway stash for August. One's got Eric Cosmer, one's got Chris Sale, one's got Schwarber, and one's got Mitch Hanniger. So uh, let's open up these last two. We'll leave these as a mystery for the winner. Uh, so the Chris Sale pack and the Eric Cosmers pack and the Kyle Hendricks pack are all going to be mysteries for the winner. So if you happen to win this and make content on YouTube, I'd love to see what you end up with on these packs. All right, let's go ahead and see what's in these two packs. First one with Kyle Schwarber on it. All right, so we got, let's see if we get a focus here. Austin Meadows, Sonny Gray. Adam Jones, Scott Kingery, there's that Schwarber, you get archetypes Jonas Cespedes, a Matt Dice rated rookie, a Dice K, Allen and Ginter, and the good card is Thurman Munson, score tribute, card number 32. All right, and for the next pack, 
you are going to get Nolan Arenado, Euclid Hayward, Fielding Award insert, uh, Big League Leaders with Kluber, Verlander, and Keiko. Uh, there's the Hanniger that was on the front, a Mark Pryor from Fleer, a Trevor Plouffe rookie, Bowman Platinum, and Emperors of the Zone Red Foil, Garrett Cole, and your good card's going to be Autographs Addison Russell. Very nice. That's going to be in the giveaway stash. It's a nice little card for uh, somebody in the giveaway stash, numbered 3 out of 99. So, no, at least there's two autos in the giveaway stash. So, we're going to set these aside. Try to get them back in these team bags quickly, which is sometimes easier said than done. That actually worked out pretty well. All right. All those going to the winner of the giveaway stash. Um, next up, we're going to we're gonna pick some names. So, some pretty good stuff in those repacks. Of course, there's uh, three mystery repacks. Who knows what's in those? I don't even know what's in those because I pack these things up and I throw them in a box. Then they, you know... You know sit in the reserve until it's time to put them in the the repack box so you know whoever the winner is i'd love to see what you get out of the uh the three uh unknown repacks so uh before i get into rambling again let's go ahead and head over to uh the desk again this time for a mail day got an awesome care package from a youtuber uh that i that i really admire um a youtuber that um uh, I hold in high regards here on YouTube uh, for multiple reasons, but check out this care package. It's really awesome. Um, yeah, it kind of left me speechless <laughs> to see what I got in it. Um, but yeah, so let me quit uh, rambling before you actually watch the content. So let's head over to the desk for the mail day. Time for another mail day. Uh, today we have a couple of packages. We got something from Sports Lots, already pre-cut, um, as well as a surprise uh, care package from Scotty Arena. So let's go ahead and get into the Sports Lots real quick. I went ahead and pre-opened both packages to save on time. Um, we're gonna take a look at the Sports Lots first. This was a lot of inserts and various other cards picked up on sports lots for a eh, pretty decent price I would guess so let's go ahead and take a look at these real quick we got Strasburg mini Stargell mini very nice Stargell mini there uh, Addison Russell rookie card uh, Joey Gallo from Bowman's Best uh, a couple early Dansby Swansons uh, I believe these are 2015 Bowman's Best so um, Kind of a pre rookie there. Uh, Wayno, numbered out of 400. Stat line uh, from Don Russ. We got a Hanley Ramirez, long ball leaders from Don Russ. We got a production line, uh, Jose Abreu, who went on a home run hitting tear recently. Uh, this one's numbered out of 581, 156 out of 581. Beltre, future Hall of Famer. Uh, this one's numbered out of 324, number 105 out of 324, which was his batting average in 2014. Uh, we got a Stalin Marti, Marti, <laughs> Stalin Marte Elite Series. Uh, this one's numbered out of 999. It's a really cool card there. Love the uh, the refractor action on that one. Uh, finest rookie of Jock Peterson. Here's a Barry Larkin Generations. Uh, is this from Finest as well? I think that's from Finest. Doesn't say Finest on it anywhere. Uh, Generations Mike Piazza, so a couple of Hall of Famers there. Uh, Nelly Cruz from Finest, looks like a Prism Refractor. Uh, Buster Posey and a Rizzo. Got a framed Rendon, a framed Rizzo, a framed Springer, framed Tulo, and a framed Jorge Soler uh, when he was with the Cubbies. Of course, found his. Found his place in KC. So, pretty cool little lot there to pick up. Some nice shiny cards. I'm sure you'll see some of those in cheapo cards. Let me set this to the side. I'm 
we'll go through and sort them later. All right, so the next package kind of caught me off guard because it was something I really wasn't expecting. Uh, I pre-cut it. I'm going to try to get this in there and not reveal addresses and stuff, but as you can see from the stickers, this is from none other than Mr. Scotty Arena and the Arena Boys. Oh, wow. Um, that is sweet. <laughs> Aranya boys, one of those awesome cards. Uh, it's been so much fun and an honor watching you and your channel grow and evolve. You have a great personality and a great sports mind. I appreciate you and what you do for our card community. Uh, the green dragon looks lonely. Enjoy the Albies. So he sent me an Albies. Oh, sweet. The green dragon <laughs> looks lonely. <laughs> and if you don't know what he's talking about, uh... It's actually right over here. I used it to actually cut open this box. Uh, the Green Dragon uh, knife. I use this for, for a lot of opening stuff. I love this uh, this knife. Scotty sent me this not too long ago, actually. Um, wow, Scott, I don't deserve all this. Uh, Tops Chrome. Sell them, keep them, doesn't matter. Needed a spacer. Alright, this one says open last. Oh, this is heavy. I think this might be the uh, the sibling to the Green Dragon. We got some bags we can reuse here. Always oh, good to get plastic bags. Oh yeah, Haribo, gold bears, gummy bears, love it. Man, he sent me candy. Like I need more sugar, Spidey. Starburst swirlers. I don't think I've ever had these, but I will now. And Skittles dips, Skittles dips, Skittles dipped in yogurt. Awesome. Empty box. Thank you very, 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 very much. Spidey, I really do appreciate this. Let's go ahead and open this, uh, this, this heaviest one right here. Super awesome care package. If you are not sub to the Aranya boys, I'll have a link to their channel in the description below. I can say this much about Scotty, aka Spidey. Man, this, these are some uh, quality envelopes there, Scotty. <laughs> mad, mad strong glue on these. All right, we'll have to use the Green Dragon to help on this one. Um, but I was saying, you know, as far as uh, it comes to Scotty. I will say this, if, you, if, if I was to describe Scotty in one interaction or one memory or anything like that, uh, not too long ago, it was probably, probably about a year ago, the uh, YouTube Cardboard community, uh, I won't say the whole YouTube Cardboard community because there's a lot of circles within the YouTube Cardboard community, I should say, there's a lot of you know different circles, a lot of different channels that kind of overlap. Uh, some don't overlap as much as others. I mean, there's plenty of YouTubers out there that I am not familiar with just because I didn't end up in that circle. Um, but anyways, I digress. Uh, about a year ago, like the circle that, you know, I was kind of falling into or fell into with all the channels that were kind of in these circles, uh, there was some drama going on. And uh, Spidey did his absolute best to hold it all together he was the linchpin of keeping that circle of the community together and it's not a specific group it's just like this circle you'll you'll notice that a lot of us viewers a lot of us content creators uh we interact with certain people in youtube pretty much a lot of them fall within our circles of uh the niche of the collecting community um there's a ton of channels out there that really aren't in our little circle so, you know, you may come across, you'd be like, man, I never heard of this channel, and they got, you know, 1,200 subscribers. Well, it's just because, you know, it's, it's not part of the circle, but uh, Spidey did his best to to keep the community going, to to kind of quell the drama a little bit as well. And, uh, yeah, I just thought it was totally awesome what he was doing. Um, took a break there because he was working so much there for a while, and, but yeah, it was always part of the community, always supports the community, always tries to... 
keep that positivity going in the community, and that's what's awesome about Scotty and the Arena Boys. <laughs> hey, we got a red dragon now. That's sweet to go along with the green dragon. That's freaking awesome, Scotty. That is sweet. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. We now have double dragon. <laughs> I used to love that game. We got a red and a green. Thank you very much. Alright, we'll open last, last. Let's take a look at these tops chrome. Let's go ahead and christen in Red Dragon. Opening this envelope. And try not to slice myself open in the process. Take a looky what we have here. Oops. Oh, a National Baseball Card Day Alvarez there. That's pretty sweet. Yordan. All right. We got some Chrome. Dylan Cease, Freshman Flash. Very nice. Buzz Tuve. Charlie Blackman. Got a Robel Garcia. Prism. Goldschmidt, got a Kesson Hira 85, Brendan Rogers, Future Stars, Mitch Keller, there's an Austin Riley. We actually pulled this card um, the other night in uh, not the BBGB, but uh, Cardboard Happy Hour, the green version of this. Awesome Brave, Jeff McNeil, Sepia, Pete Alonzo, Future Stars, Keston Hira, Pink, Ma 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 Mike, Soroka, Dun 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 <laughs> Pink, Buzz Tuve, Refractor, no, Berrios, Lesta, Jake Rogers, Harold Ramirez, Refractor, Nick Senzel, another Hira, another Hira, very nice, Harold Ramirez, Liam Hendricks, Edbert Alzale, here's an Aquino, Freshman Flash, pretty nice, Kyle Seeger, Isan Diaz, and Frankie Lindor, that is sweet. Along with a Yordan National Baseball Card Day uh, rookie from Gallery. Super, super sweet. That is awesome, Spidey. I really do appreciate that. And I will reuse the team bag. A couple Bravos in there. Alright, so last. I'm assuming this is the Albies based on the note that you left. <laughs> Enjoy the Albies. So. It feels like a slab. Did you send me a slab, Spidey? It feels like a slab. So, let me see if I get the knife up in here. Alright, there we go. It is a slab. You sent me a slab. <laughs> Man, you didn't have to do that. It's an SGC 9.5. Wow. Optic Contenders. Season ticket prism out of 25. SGC. Wow. Numbered 7 out of 25. Can y'all see that? Can y'all see? Wow, dude. Man. That is amazing. Pink. Contenders 9.5 mint plus. That is sweet, dude. I don't deserve nothing like that, man. Come on. Wow. And there's oh gold albies. <laughs> man. And a refractor albies. Wow, dude. This this is amazing. Amazing care package. Holy crap. Gold border Albies 85 out of 50. Out of 50. Oh, God. I don't even know what to. I can't even say thank you enough. I really can't. I mean, 
<laughs> yeah, I'm, I, just, I just went speechless here on my uh, recording of this video. Holy crap, dude. Uh, thank you, Scotty. Um, you're too good to me. I really, really do appreciate that. This is an absolutely amazing care package. So, before I end the segment, um, one more thank you to the Aranya Boys and Spidey. Um, an absolute gem of this community, absolute treasure. Please head over there and support them. If you are not subscribed to the Aranya Boys, please, please, please head over there and support them. Um, absolute awesome person, awesome channel, um, great supporter. If, if, you, if you're in the hobby and you're part of this community and you show uh, the Aranya Boys love, they'll show you love back times three. Um, absolutely amazing. Thank you. Um, I'm rambling here because I don't even know how to how to follow all this up with with what you sent me in this. This is this just blew my mind. <laughs> um, thank you once again. Check out the uh, description below for uh, the Aranya Boys channel. And uh, yeah, I will send it back to the host um, so uh, so I can give my my head some time to uh, to to stop exploding. <laughs> <laughs> back to the host yeah as you can see i was a uh, man pretty speechless on that uh thank you spidey ranya boys definitely check them out once again their link's gonna be in the description below uh i'm i'm not good at receiving gifts so you know i'm sure i mentioned it during the mail day uh so it's 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 hard for me to put words for how gracious i am or how grateful i am not gracious grateful um you know that a community member sends me something like that so it's really awesome thank you once again to around your boys um i also got a cool little lot from sports lots as well in that mail day so um before we get into the quick hitter for today uh let's go ahead and head over back to the desk for uh the comment picker so we can see what contestants are on the highlander wheel the highlander wheel is tough um there could be only one for the month of august of course so let's head back to the desk we'll pick out the names for the comments from the month of august and take it away all right here we got all the videos i uploaded in august as you can see there's quite a few of them um this list this list is going to be a lot shorter now that i'm doing weekly videos uh let's go ahead and randomize this three times and then we'll pick the top eight videos we'll pick one name from each video and that will go on to the the Highlander wheel. So let's go ahead and randomize one, two, three. All right, video number one. Paste that in the YouTube comment picker. Duplicate users filtered. Looks good. Let's get comments. So 14 commenters on this video. Good luck. First name on the wheel is Ron Fig. Says, awesome haul for the price of a blaster. Thank you, Ron. Ron Fig on the wheel. We're going to grab video two. Paste. Get comments. 12 commenters on this one. Let's see who pops up. Sports Kids. Great rip. Insert creative comment here. Laugh out loud. All right. Congrats, Sports Kids. You are on the wheel. All right, let's go to video number three. All right, 11 commenters on this one. Good luck. Cornet Collections, like this new format. Take me getting used to great mail segment. Always informative on the print run breakdown. And that prime pack was a bit lacking. Photo else is new. <laughs> Thank you, Tim. Cornet Collections on the wheel. All right, video number four. Get YouTube comments. Nine on this one. Let's see who's on the wheel. PA, Patrick Ainsworth. Says, great BBGB. All right. Thank you, Patrick Ainsworth. Your first time on the wheel. I appreciate it. Let's go to video number five. Ten on this one. Ten commenters. 
And UNC Fester. Glad you got some Hall of Famers. Thank you, Fester. UNC Fester is on the wheel. All right. Let's get video number six. Nine commenters on this one. Angry Old Man. Great cards like that Mike Schmidt card. All right. Angry Old Man. Welcome to the wheel. Is that one word? We'll put it as one word. Angry Old Man. <laughs> All right. So let's get video number seven. Get YouTube comments. 18 on this one. So a lot, of, a lot more commenters on this one than the average. 18 YouTube commenters. Bradley Moore. It's never a fun rip without the ramble. They go hand in hand. <laughs> Patrick is a celebrity to us all. Oh, maybe in my own head. Let's see. Bradley Moore on the wheel. Bradley Moore. And then we have one more. Video number eight. Whatever video this is. Get commenters. Nine on this one. Let's see what the last name on the wheel is. Well, we have a duplicate. Joe Mansman figures the Braves fan would drop a Met. Piazza. <laughs> oh, Joe Mansman on the wheel. Contestant number eight. A little bit different than last month where we had four names on the wheel and they were all duplicates. This eight names, all different. It is the Highlander wheel. And there you go. Ron Fig, Sports Kids, Cornet Collections, Patrick Ainsworth, UNC Fester, Angry Old Man, Bradley Moore, and Joe Mansman. Congrats to all the commenters that got their name on the Highlander wheel. Not going to quite spin it yet. Don't worry. Uh, the spin will be coming. <laughs> and we got to string it along, right? That's, uh, that's how TV shows work. We string it along all the way to the end. Don't ever watch, like, the ID channel because, uh, you know, like, you're watching the ID channel and you get, like, real sucked into the story. You're like, oh, man, who did it? Was it this person? Was it this person? You know, who committed this terrible crime? And, like, they stretch it out. And there's literally like 20 minutes of commercials that you have to sit there before you finally figure out, you know, who committed the crime. So, uh, yeah, I'm kind of doing the same thing here. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so let's just go ahead and head over to the quick hitter. And y'all know how that works. Try to be quick. It should be a quick segment. So quick hitter commits. All right, folks, it's time for a quick hitter. And today we are going to do a value pack of Topps Chrome. So, this is a quick hitter, so, of course, we're going to be quick with it. Three packs and some pink. Some pink refractors. Bonus panks. Alright. So, let's see what we got in here. Pack number one. Got a Yaz on the back. We got a Pete Alonzo. We got a Jake Rogers. Hey, <laughs> Rogers. We got a Boba Fett, rookie. Very nice. And a future star is Mike Yastrzemski, who just turned 30 not too long ago. Uh, usually you don't see players that old making their debuts or getting into the league uh, after so long in the minors, but I think it really tells a good tale of perseverance. You know, most players... They get around 26, 27, 28, and they're still in the minors and don't feel like they're going anywhere. Um, it, you know, that most a lot of them will give up, you know, before they even get close to being the age that Yastrzemski is when he came up. So we got a Syndergaard, we got a Leba, we got a Pete Alonzo, 85 Refractor, and behind it we got Jeff Samarja, the Shark. The Shark Samarja. Alright. Third pack. Let's see if we get some color in here. Be nice. Doesn't look like we do. We got Chris Paddock. We got Travis Demerit. Tigers. Got a Matt Chapman. And our refractor is Shinsu Chu. Shinsu Chu refractor. Not too shabby. All right, let's take a look at the Panks. Of course, looking for a good rookie in here in the Pinks. Or maybe even Catch Trout. 
or brave. All right, we got a Kyle Lewis pink. Not too shabby. Kyle Lewis is off to a hot start. Uh, my camera focus is going in and out here. Let me fix that. Mitch Hanniger. So, two Mariners pink. Gavin Lux pink. Not bad. Zach Collins rookie pink. And a Patrick Corbin pink. And Sakura tie. So that is the quick hitter, folks. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, do a quick recap of what we got in here. These are all pretty much base. Um, yep, all base. And then we got the Chew Refractor, Alonzo insert, Yaz, uh, Future Stars, and a Bo Bichette rookie. And then from the pinks, we got a Zach Collins and Gavin Lux rookies. As well as a Kyle Lewis rookie, which I didn't put in the good pile for some reason. Kyle Lewis, pink rookie. And then we got Patrick Corbin and Mitch Hanniger. So that is the quick hitter. I'm going to send it back to the host really quickly. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that quick hitter. Uh, some pretty good rookies in there, especially with the, uh, the Gavin Lux. Kyle Lewis is hot right now, too. So uh, not a bad haul of rookies in that value pack. Just wish, you know, a little bit more chrome was available around. Everybody loves chrome. Um, and it, it's definitely a hot product every year. Uh, this year, especially when it's hard to find anything anyways, uh, you know, it was going to be hard to find chrome. So, uh, yeah, so we're going to head over to the last segment before we get to the wheel and do the Highlander wheel spins and all that for the winner. Um, of course, it is Fairfield's. We all love our Fairfields. At least I love my Fairfields. Not everybody loves Fairfields. Um, but yeah, some, some $5 fun from the pharmacy. So take it away. All right. In this segment, we're back with another repack rip. The good old $5 pharmacy box. Now, of course, I've talked about this plenty of times before. Your expectations for these should not be very high at all. Um, if you come into this and you think you're going to get something good, you're going to be sorely disappointed. So I know a lot of people do not like uh, the repack boxes. And it's mainly because uh, perhaps what those people are looking for in a repack box just doesn't exist in a repack box. Um, you know, if, if, if you can pull stuff out of a, a repack box that you're going to PC... I think it's well worth it. I mean, it's five bucks. It's a rip. Uh, you get to look at some uh, overproduction cards. Sometimes you you find some some strange sets that you haven't seen before. Uh, you know, some of those minor league sets, and you'll find some minor league cards in here. Pretty funny to see. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. This is the no window box from this year. We'll look at the date on the bottom of this one, as we always do, to see what date this package was printed. And it, the box was printed on April 6, 2020. That is the mark for when the box is printed. What pack is that? Is that Tops? We shall see. Got some cards flowing out here. All right. It is Fleer, 90 Fleer. So maybe get us a big hurt in there. That'd be cool, huh? All right. So I don't feel any penny sleeve in here, so probably not a hit here. So let's go ahead and see what kind of fun stuff we can find in here. Let's do the focus. We got Jerry Depota and Julian Tavares. We got a Scott Sanders for the Padres. Got a Miguel Delone, 83 Donruss. Uh, Jack Percante, 83 Donruss. We got Jeff Brantley just chilling. <laughs> Upper deck. Brantley's like, they're like, we're going to take a picture for your baseball card. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Terry Steinbeck. We got a Troy Percival. His card's chewed up. Look at the top of that thing. <laughs> Troy Percival Diamond Debuts. Actually wouldn't be a bad card. Rookie, but too bad it's all chewed up. Pretty cool Jim Abbott there. Peter Gammon's the numbers. There's another chewed up card. Look all paper loss on that thing. Definitely peeled apart there. We got uh, Gary Wayne. Dave Fleming. Devon White. Losing his helmet. 
pretty cool pitcher. Sean Abner. Bob Welch. Jeff Ballard. Mike McFarlane. Dan Peltier. Delino De Shields. Jeff Rudin. Ron Karkovice. Uh, Luis Soho. So, still looking for that first Hall of Famer. We got Bill Schrader. We got a Andy Ashby. Blair Ultra. Ash Ashby was a pretty good pitcher back in the day. Sandy Alomar Jr. That's a cool pitcher. I think I've seen this pitcher before on another card. Because I was trying to figure out that was uh, Eddie Murray in the background. We got uh, Shane Turner. We got Sean Bosky. Roy Caleri, classic best. Greg Lefferts with a uh, print mark going straight across the bottom here. Looks like a roller from the press. Hensley Mullins. Uh, Mariana Duncan. So I watched a uh, short clip on um, Curacao. So like all the players that are coming from Curacao that are you know making waves in the league. Including Didi Gregorius, uh, Ozzy Albies, and of course Andrew Jones back in the day. Hensley Mullins was the first uh, to come from Curacao. So you see here, Curacao, Netherlands, Antilles. Hensley Mullins, I think, was the first player from Curacao to play in the Major Leagues. Don't quote me on that. Um, here's Alex Sanchez, rated Ricky. Todd Worrell. But I remember seeing something on Curacao, and they mentioned uh, Hensley Mullins. Mike Morgan. Todd Froworth. Got excited there when I saw the draft pick upside down, but it's not a Jeter. <laughs> Chad Matola. Here's our first Hall of Famer. Errol Baines, 88. Not sure if I had that one or not. There's a Jack Clark, Opeachy Premier. Look, another Hensley Mullins. Dupe of Hensley Mullins. All right, we got Brian Harvey. We got Terry Steinbeck again. Daryl Hamilton. John Vanderwall, rookie prospect. Uh, Steve Ontiveros. Kirk McCaskill. And we got a Brave here, Jair Jurgens. Speaking of Curacao, I believe he was from Curacao as well. Yep, Willemstad, Curacao. Braves card, hold on to that one. Uh, As Drupal Cabrera. We got a Detroit Tigers team card. We got a Chrome in here. Uh, it's not too scratched up. It's not in perfect condition, but a R.A. Dickey. Got a little Dickey in here. Homer Bailey, Heritage. We got a checklist, Sammy Sosa. Pretty cool. I'll put that in a decent pile. I haven't gotten many decent cards out here. There's a Sean Figgins. Yes, you do pronounce that Sean. So the Chone. <laughs> we got David Murphy. We got Shane Victorino. Upper deck. Rick Porcello. Uh, Leon Durham. Jason Mott. Archives. Uh, Jim Bonaduce. No, Jim uh, Bonici. First Bowman. What your Bowman is that? 96 Bowman. There's Andy Bennis. Final Series 89 Rookie Superstars. Andy Bennis. That's pretty cool. Yeah, there we go. Nice. 82 Tim Raines. Very off center. But a Hall of Famer nonetheless. Sweet. Jose Leaned. Here's a Hall of Famer Lee Smith. Now this one's got a big old crease at the top, I think. No. Just the way the light's reflecting off of it. It's got a little divot, I guess you could say, in it. Tony Fernandez. Rich DeLuccia. Jeff Hamilton. We got a Taylor Buckholtz rookie. Bowman Chrome. It's a nice card. Uh, Carlos Zambrano Bowman. And we got a Alex Gonzalez. Gold Leaf rookie. So, you're starting to see more and more variety in here. Um, it's not all just uh, overproduction error. You're getting to see some cooler cards in here. Like Willie Mo Pena. Willie Mo Pena. This guy can hit some bombs now. Um, he never really hit him in games, it doesn't look like. But uh, I believe he was a one of those guys that in batting practice would just, just bomb everything. Roger Pavlik. He's a Chris Carpenter Chrome, 2010. Pretty cool. Sean Markham. Joachim Soria. You got a Josh Hamilton. Bowman when he's with the Angels. Tim Leary. 
We got a Junior Kennedy. Very nice. 81 Fleer. Junior Kennedy. Kenny Williams. Who's this? Chris George. We got a Mike Stanton. 90 score. Rookie. Very nice. Mike Stanton was a big part of the Braves bullpen. Their run in the 90s and then went to the Yankees and was part of their run. Kevin Pillar opening day. We got a Ryan Roop. Bowman Groom. Luke Hochevar. Dan Ugla, <laughs> rookie debut. We got a Carlos Pulido, and Bronson Arroyo with that leg kick, 2011. We got, who is this? Smith, CJ Smith. And a Craig Biggio, very nice. Leaf rookies and stars from 98. He's a Hall of Famer, I don't think I had that card. Very nice. All right, let's last little stack here. We'll do the 90 Fleer. We got a Jose Ozuna, 2018, Steve Lake, uh, another Andy Bennis, a couple Andy Bennises in here, Ted Power, Cecil Fielder, uh, Bob Zubchik, top prospect, Chris Johnson, who's this, Brett Card Caradona, John Halama, Dion James, we got a fun box here, Todd Zeal. Top Skids, uh, Lee Guterman, and a Chris Hoyles. Ooh, Sports Flicks. Or actually, Star Flicks, not Sports Flicks. Oh, it's made by Sports Flicks. That's a cool card. I need to take a look into this set. That's pretty cool. I like that design, Sports Flicks design. I like to get some Hall of Famers in that design. All right, let's take a look at the 90 Fleer. Not expecting much out of here. But maybe we get that Frank Thomas rookie. Got a Cub sticker. All right, these are in pretty good shape here. Jeff Reardon. Come on, Hall of Famers. Mike Scott. Checklist. Shout out to Josters. Haven't seen Josters around in a while. Hope you're doing well. J Bell. Gene Harris. TP. Rob Murphy. Tom McCarthy. Ron Robinson. Nelson Santovina. Jim Presley. Robbie Thompson. Sean Holman. Mike Sosha and Steve Finley. Is that a Steve Finley rookie? Uh, that might be a Steve Finley rookie. No Hall of Famers in that pack. Shutout. But it is what it is. So, quick recap. Uh, these are just some cool cards I set aside. I kind of liked. Uh, we got a Craig Biggio. We got a Mike Stanton rookie for the Braves collection. Tim Raines, 82, Hall of Famer. Jair Jurgens from Curacao for the Braves collection. And a Harold Baines, 88. So that does it for the repack rip let me know what you thought of the rip once again these pharmacy boxes are a lot of miss but sometimes you do hit but for five bucks you know with with the pain it is finding boxes at retail because the retail um the retail stuff is just super hard to find like good luck finding chrome <laughs> you can't find it if you're a basketball if you're a basketball collector i'm sorry um i feel terrible for you basketball never lasts more than probably an hour on the shelves if it lasts that long so um yeah it's tough but you can always count on a pharmacy box so if you got a walgreens in your area head over there uh my walgreens had a couple hanger boxes actually I had three hanger boxes of 2019 tops heritage but i've seen enough of 2019 tops heritage i don't need to pick up any more of that there was no prime pack so i was going to pick up a prime pack so they had a, a couple pharmacy boxes of baseball they had three pharmacy boxes of baseball two pharmacy boxes of football um haven't seen a pharmacy box of basketball uh ever <laughs> i don't think maybe i've seen it once but it's been a super long time since i've seen a pharmacy box of basketball but uh but yeah i mean if you're just looking for something to rip something to have fun you know to be engaged in the hobby uh i watched triple crown's video uh, the other day where he talks about his frustrations in the hobby uh not being able to find retail because he doesn't really break when he rips because ripping is the most fun part of the hobby in my opinion buying singles is one thing adding into your collection is one thing organizing collections one thing but in my opinion the most fun part of the hobby is ripping packs um and he was talking his frustrations about like he, doesn't, he can't really afford hobby uh so retail is like his main fallback he's mainly you know when he wants to rip you guys buys retail and it's always been there for us all the way up into this year um retail had always been there for us but now this year all of a sudden it's not there for us 
so you know a lot of people feel like they're they can't be part of the hobby um but you know if if you need to rip something there's nothing wrong with going and pick up a five dollar fairfield repack or even a prime pack yeah you're not gonna hit big you know you're not gonna get a jeter rookie out of this you're not gonna get a fernando tatis rookie out of this you're not gonna get a you know pete alonzo and a cunha rookie more than likely you're not gonna hit cards like that but if you're a team collector like me, I collect Braves, you're going to get a Jair Jurgens or a Mike Stanton rookie. And if you collect Hall of Famers, you're going to get a random Harold Baines over production era, an off-center Tim Raines, or a Craig Biggio from a set during a time in which I wasn't collecting. I find that awesome. You know, these are cards I'm going to add to my collection. And, you know, yeah, are these $5 worth of cards? No, absolutely not. They're not. But <laughs> would I have paid $5 to, um, to be able to have that experience and get some cards from my PC? Absolutely. So don't thumb your nose up at Fairfields. Um, if they're not your thing, they're not your thing. I'm not going to say, you know, you need to go buy those. Um, but I'm rambling here about Fairfields. Um, I'm going to send it back to the host <laughs> so we can, you know, eventually close the show out for the Card Hobbies Weekly. <laughs> All right, host, back to you. All right, I hope you all enjoyed that Fairfield rip. That's about your average fail, Fairfield. Uh, that's about what you're going to get, you know, when you pay $5 for a box of cards at the pharmacy. Uh, not a whole lot going in there. Did get some Hall of Famers. A um, few other cards that, you know, were somewhat okay. Um, no, like, super bangers. I mean, <laughs> when you open up a Fairfield, you're not going to pull one card that's going to pay for the box. Not usually. Um, that is That is pretty much in line for what you find in Fairfield. Uh, so like when you get a bad Fairfield box, it's usually pretty bad. Uh, but that's the average Fairfield. Still had fun ripping it. Um, cause you know, that's, that's what I enjoy in the hobby most is, uh, ripping up and stuff and, and hoping to find, you know, something cool in there. Something that's, that's going to end up in my binder, which is, which, you know, was the case for that last Fairfield. So I was happy with that. So you've all maybe sat through the video all the way up to this point. Maybe not. Maybe you skipped ahead to right now in this moment in time. Uh, but we are going to get to that wheel now. Uh, yes, everybody's favorite, favorite mechanic for giveaways. <laughs> uh, some people call it the wheel of death. I like calling it the Highlander wheel because there could be only one. Um, but let's go ahead and head over to that and enjoy the shenanigans of the Highlander wheel. So good luck, folks. So we are going to get ready to spin this. Remember, folks, this is the Highlander wheel. You do not want it to end up on your name uh, ever. You want to be the last one standing. There can be only one on the Highlander wheel. Good luck, folks. And away we go. No, Bradley Moore right off the bat. There can be only one Bradley. And unfortunately this month, the wheel does not care for Bradley Moore. Okay, that was a bit negative. Oops, I forgot to remove Bradley Moore. <laughs> Thank you, Bradley, for all your support. But there can be only one. Spin it again. Oh, Patrick Ainsworth, PA. I appreciate your comments on the videos, but for August, there can be only one. All right, and then there were six. Good luck. kids sports kids appreciate all the support you've always given my channel but the wheel can be mean there can be only one 
Thank you, sports kids. And away we go again. Joe Mansman, Joe Mansman. Sorry to see you go, Joe. But there can be only one. Thank you, Joe. But now there are four. Tim, Cornet Collections. Sorry, but the wheel did not spin your way today. There can be only one. Tim, appreciate all the support, my friend. And then there were three. UNC Fester, Angry Old Man, and Ron Fig. Good luck, my friends. Two more spins of the wheel and we will have a winner. man angry old man congrats on getting on the wheel but condolences for not being the only one in august i appreciate your comment but there can be only one and then there were two two regulars of the channel ron fig and unc fester who's it gonna be one spin to decide it all Oh, that was a close, close final spin. Wow. Ooh, that one had my heart palpitating. Mr. Ron Fig, now of Cali, no longer at Vegas. Appreciate all the support you give my channel. But August wasn't your month for the wheel. There can be only one. And that one is UNC Fester. Chris, congrats. You are the winner of this month's giveaway stash. Thank you very much. I already have all your information, Fester. Um, your address and everything. So uh, this will be added to your stack. Really appreciate it. Um, yeah, congrats to the winner. And remember, if you want to be eligible for uh, the September giveaway stash, all you have to do is comment on my videos. And since my videos are coming at a little bit of a less rate since they're weekly, you might want to make sure you comment on, on them all. <laughs> But thank you, Fester, and congrats again, my friend. Okay, congrats, Chris. UNC Fester on the winning the uh, giveaway stash for the month of August. Uh, definitely look forward to seeing what you get in those repacks. Uh, hopefully, you'll make a video on it. If not, just let me know in uh, one of the streams or drop me an email. I'd like to know what you got in those repacks. Um, yeah, I appreciate everybody watching uh, the Card Obvious Weekly, uh, week two. Um, once again, make sure you leave comments if you want to be eligible for the uh, September giveaway stash. Also, I enjoy any any type of feedback, constructive criticism, uh, and you know anything that you leave down in the comments. Uh, shout out to the hobbyists out there. And I refer to as Cuz, uh, our, our my YouTube cousin, the hobbyist, uh, always drops a hi, hello, uh, just to make sure that that yeah he's getting his uh, his chances at entries on the. Uh, giveaway stash so because it's been a couple months or not this past month that you didn't get up on the wheel so probably see you there in september uh but yeah so i'm gonna leave you with a quote just like i did last time um you know any hobby has its complaints uh has its gripes uh we see it all the time i mean not just here on youtube uh other social media as well anybody talking about the hobby you know Sometimes it's tough, you know, the hobby changes, you know, and going through changes can be tough. So 
you know, if you're, if you're having a hard time out there, you know, finding product or whatever, it's, you know, it's a cycle we're going through. It's probably not always going to be like this. Um, things change. Uh, we adapt. That's what humanity is best at adapting. Um, so I'm going to leave you with a quote from uh, Zig Ziglar. Um, he says, be grateful for what you have and stop complaining. It bores everybody else. It does you no good and doesn't solve any problems. So nice straight to a point there. Hope you all enjoyed this week's Card Obvious Weekly. This is the Card Obvious. Y'all have a great week, great weekend. I'll see you on Cardboard Happy Hour streams. I'll see you in BBGB streams, but I'll be around. Maybe I'll see you in your own streams. <laughs> but until then, everybody be good. Remember, you can only control your thoughts and your actions. Stay positive. Keep ripping the packs. Keep collecting the cards. Keep supporting each other. And I'll catch you all later. Peace.